So I haven't been on here in actually quite a bit now. Um, mainly was uh, waiting for my headset and everything to get a new one. Because my other one, for some reason, while wearing it, it decided to break on the side that the mic was on. Um, but I haven't really been playing this much, to be perfectly honest. Uh, might might seem kind of weird, but uh, when 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 I like am not making videos on uh, like playing RuneScape in general, uh, back whenever I did play RuneScape, like if I wasn't really like making videos of it, I just wasn't really intrigued to play. So, seems to be it's kind of the same way when it comes to playing a private server as well. <clears throat> so, the time being of not having um, not having a mic and everything, it just kind of uh, just kind of had like I don't know. It's just like a boredom, I guess, in a sense. Uh, I, I don't know, it was, it's just weird, and I'm not sure, honestly, why, but I was kind of just having, you know, some different fun playing other, other things, but, uh, I am actually going to do, um, a series playing, a, a, like, mainly Minecraft, uh, I was gonna start doing a series of playing a, uh, a different game, um, again, playing a private server, but then I kind of was really against playing that because, I don't know, it's just, like, the problem would be is, like, it, it would kind of be, like, whenever I did Minecraft before, whenever I did Minecraft, you know, I did, like, 10 episodes or 12 episodes of Mad Pack 1, and then just dropped it, just, I stopped doing it. Just because it wasn't enjoyable, but um, with playing the other game, which is Maple Story, I tend to play it for like a week, maybe two weeks, and then I'm just bored of it. Um, you know, I end up just going, finding something else to play, and then I just enjoy that way too much to try to go back. So now. Because I'm not playing this for a little bit, though, it also does make me a little bit more intrigued to actually want to play it and whatnot. Um, not really sure, honestly. Um, now of course, you're going to be seeing what I'm doing here and probably being like, why the hell are you doing that? But uh, just something to kind of do while doing this video. But Because <clears throat> I want to go over some of the stuff that they have here on the website from stuff that I hadn't seen yet so apparently the um, the status warhammer special now deals 25% more damage and decreases victims defense by 30% so I would assume the status warhammer was kind of a piece of shit and just didn't work very well so it seems now it it actually does uh, does what it's supposed to do so that's good um, Stats with 200 mil experience, you'll still get an XP drop on the XP counter. I'm wondering if that means it's going to go with your X, because, yeah, that, no. I'm hoping that's not what happens. I would assume it just, you get the XP drop, and that's it. It doesn't actually go here. It says that it's, uh, it's untested, so, I mean, I don't have anything 200 mil, so I wouldn't be able to really check, but... Um, let's see what else they have here. Um, added Mage Bank as a PvP spot. Um, wait. Is that saying, like, actually where the bank is? Because that would just kind of seem really bad. I'm wondering if that's what that's supposed to mean. It would kind of be dumb, but. See, a tra summoning trap door has been moved next to the bank to help the visibility of where to train summoning so I assume like it's somewhere around the bank <clears throat> I hadn't really honestly looked for it 
Now, I've looked at all the other stuff and shows on here, like the Grand Exchange stuff that was almost ready. Of course, now it's already out. Uh, apparently, another update that came out. Now, I don't really know of any um, any NPC IDs other than the one that it gives you as an example here. But now, you can do this, and it'll tell you basically approximately what you should... Um, what you should be seeing of course you know you get different results every time you do it but you know basically this would be like roughly what you should obtain from killing a thousand king black dragons um yeah i mean it doesn't seem uh just doesn't seem too bad i mean it's not really actually a lot of money or a lot of stuff really into, well, I guess the the kits, I guess, are some okay money. The rest of the stuff isn't, I mean, one fighter torso? Seriously? Out of a thousand? My god. Uh, yeah. I don't know, that just doesn't, uh... <laughs> Like, being able to see this, you just never want to go kill a King Black Dragon ever again in your life. From seeing this, yeah. I wouldn't want to go kill King Black Dragon ever again from seeing that. Um, oh, come on. They, they still apparently have the, the lagging of the bank. But it does seem to be that, like, for instance, like, this was finally fixed. Um, like... I don't even have it. Huh. Interesting. Oh, no, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, if I do that, it'll actually insert it where I want it to insert. Okay, and now it's not working again. Wait. Uh. And yeah, now it's like derping out. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I used it earlier and it worked just fine. Now it seems like it's kind of derping out or something, but I saw that that was fixed though, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I think that's it from that one though on the updates. And then this one, um, let's see. See, now it shows, like, the one I'm looking at now, the Grand Exchange came out, and Service Report Plus are now able to disable and enable the Grand Exchange, just in case a dupe or a big bug occurs. Um, see, automatic NPC respawns will not affect Jad or Animated Warrior. Nerf of damage dealt by Steadius Warhammer. <laughs> So first they fix the Warhammer and then they nerf the Warhammer. Seems legit. Uh, disabled Hunger Games. Uh, meeting room, since it's still disabled. You can't, like, the Hunger Games still doesn't work right, so. The Cross You Special now does uh, 50 to 150% of your max hit as it should instead of a set minimum of 250. Well, that probably made the Karasi worth uh, nothing now. I mean, I don't really know what it was worth before, but... Um, they fix the special Abyssal Whip whenever you switch weapons. It will actually stop from doing the special whenever you switch. Um, let's see. One iteming and low level, bleh, low level armor now hits less often... Or, hits less often and not as high that's pretty cool so they were able to able to stop people from ragging I guess in a sense I'm hoping that's not meaning like you know if you were wearing like full rune and you know like a D semi and you know basically like garbage on here for the most part I'm, I'm hoping it's not what it's meaning cause you know just for some fun little PvP and not using a whip and stuff, you know, be nice. Um, see, Carol's Expo accuracy got nerfed, and 
for some reason double experience for hunter is not working um not sure why that's there unless maybe one of the updates they did before this like messed it up or something because how in the hell do you think i got 99 hunter <laughs> there's no way in hell i did that shit without double experience there'd be no way in hell because i know i was getting double experience because if i wasn't it would have taken me so much damn longer Let's see. Uh, they did some stuff with main hand and staking, so I'm sure there was probably like some way you could like mess up a stake, whatever from that. Withdrawal X from stack should now work. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be for, cause I mean, if it's saying like from your bank, you know, like this, and you know, withdrawal five like i don't know if that's what it's saying it says withdraw x from stack should work now maybe like in a trade window well it says withdraw so yeah i'm not sure what that's exactly supposed to mean but fair enough oh x from sh from stakes okay i'm apparently not um not reading this very well <laughs> Because I, I was looking at that earlier, and I was like, what is this supposed to mean? I, I thought it was saying stacks. It says stakes. Okay. That makes more sense. Um, so, upon next client, which I have the next client, the loyalty titles from the chat box will be removed, as they should have a long time ago. So basically how people used to have, you know, for instance, Super Donator in front of their name. Now you can only see that when you click on their name. Uh, I honestly don't think that's that's right, to be honest. Um, the reason I kind of say that is because, you know, it, for instance, like myself, like I want to get the Runique. Um, that, hold on. Okay, uh, but yeah, you know, for for people like myself that, you know, I want to save up for the Runique, um, Runique title, I kind of feel like you're kind of cheated if, you know, people actually have to click on your name to see it. When, in RuneScape, when someone talks, you see the title in front of their name. So you can see, you know, they spent like 300,000 loyalty points for that, you know, that title. You know, it, it makes it makes it to where you see them talk and you see that and you're like, damn, like they, they spent a lot of time on the game. So it's kind of it's kind of cheaty on the fact that they're removing that. Like, I don't know why they said it should have been removed uh, for a while. Like, I don't see why, especially for someone that has, a, you know, the thing super donor that should, you know, that should be said whenever they talk, no matter what, to be perfectly honest. I mean, that's just me. Um, default clan chat is now help chat, uh, which auto ranks any staff member to general. Now, I'm not sure why it says the default clan chat is now help chat, uh, because it's always been that, unless, oh, okay, owner is help, okay, okay, so they changed it from, from relax being the, the owner, okay. See, it doesn't say that. It just says the default clan chat is now help chat. When truly it was help chat. It was, it, you know, it was talking in help chat. Should have, I don't know. It just kind of seems not how, I don't know, how it should have been written, I guess. I don't know. See, upon next client update, the HD minimap option will now save upon exiting the client. Um, HD minimap options. I guess that's for. I honestly don't know what that's even for. Okay. Um, my Rage Plus can now check a player's inventory and bank. Okay. Modified a couple of items, uh, trade prices to their street prices. Um, I guess whenever you put something in trade. Oh, yeah. I, I haven't really like traded 
like at all on the server too much so um so yeah I guess like they changed some items to their actual street price in the trade window which I would assume is probably the same thing of what they did to the Grand Exchange they probably changed the the price you just throw it in there for um okay and before I talk about the other stuff um they did a little bit of stuff with the Grand Exchange just kinda like messing around with it uh, and there it even says right there uh, simply right click on a bank booth and select Grand Exchange so now whenever you go to any bank booth you can click Grand Exchange and it pops up the Grand Exchange now I was messing around with this just trying to see like what people are really buying a thing and people are even using the Grand Exchange and to be honest it really doesn't seem like anybody is using the Grand Exchange because I still am seeing a loads of people over here people constantly still yelling saying sale bank sale small sale it's like throw it in the Grand Exchange like Jesus I mean it's just dumb that people are still sitting there just saying sale sale it's like really we have the Grand Exchange for a reason use it um so yeah you know was messing around with this for a little bit and I mean kind of surprised like you know no one's trying to see like items from the shops and stuff to see if people are just randomly buying them I've had this offer in for maybe about an hour now while I was checking the updates and doing other stuff and whatnot you know I was uh, just threw this offer in just to see and I haven't even gotten one so it's kind of surprising to see that people aren't really looking at that. They're not. They're not trying to see if they can make some easy money. Um, and then through a blue whip in for eleven mil. I mean, I've sold. I sold a. I think a green whip. Yeah, I think it was a green whip for eleven mil. So I don't. I don't see a reason why it shouldn't sell, but. You know, also would have to see someone actually buying a blue whip for that to happen. So, I mean, you know, uh, I just wanted to try out the Grand Exchange for a little bit just to kind of see if it worked. And <clears throat> quite a few of the items that, you know, you would think you can't trade, you or, well, items you can't trade, you can't sell in the Grand Exchange. But items like uh, overloads... Um, super prayer potions, um, super anti fires, and extreme ranging potions. I know you can't sell like these and these to the shop. I don't know about these or these, if you can sell them to the shop or not, but I know you can sell these to players because I've sold a few of them. Not many, but a few. And you can sell them in a grand exchange, but I mean, again, I'm still not sure about like why these can be in a grand exchange, but I can't sell them to the shop. Kind of, kind of pointless, but oh well. Uh, I, I doubt anyone would ever really buy them for any reason, because I'm not sure if actually you can use them in the in the in the wilderness. To be honest, if you can use them in the wilderness, I mean, maybe someone will buy them but they're not going to buy them for much at all to be honest so um let's see some of the other updates um you will now receive a green mystery box upon claiming your boat uh claim not tear the ticket which has a 1 in 75 chance of giving nice items uh, you will know, know the item is rare because it will send a global message. Okay, cool. Uh, fix some NPCs not moving, such as hunter NPCs, hunter NPCs in our dogna, etc. Okay, I don't see why that needed to be fixed, but okay. Did a couple of modifications to attempt to fix the despawn issue. Yeah. 
I, mean, I haven't seen anyone talking about it of you know saying <clears throat> saying something's like messed up or whatever for spawning wise. Like a lot of times, whenever I would do that before, you know, I'd log in and people would be like, "Oh, why is mole not there?" And people always be like, "Oh, it's glitched. Go wait until someone gets on the to fix it." So I'm not sure if that's been fixed, but it kind of seems like they definitely fixed it quite a bit. Um, they fixed some exploits with the new tour guide, which uh, would allow players to roam around invisible though they weren't too aware okay so apparently you could become a bit invisible but you just didn't know it um, added glowing tabs in the game frame oh, okay so I guess whenever a new player comes on it'll actually show like a glowing thing here to uh, to mess with stuff and whatnot okay um, if you have died from Arcasey and Barris and teleport back, Arcasey will take 15 seconds to spawn. I don't know if that was recently added, because I haven't killed that before. And I've done Barrows, quite, quite a bit of Barrows. Not too much, but a little bit of it. Uh, if you don't want to face anymore, you can simply click on any sarcophagus and select forfeit, and you uh, and you will not receive a reward. Okay. And then I did some stuff with staff staff updates. Okay. So and it seems to be uh, sorry for lack of updates. Uh, the NPC despawn issue took up a lot of time. Okay. Interesting. So yeah. Seems to be they uh, they've been doing some some okay updates, some updates that just doesn't really make any sense. I mean, I guess you know if they only take like 10, 15 minutes, whatever, to look into and it's done. I mean, fair enough. But <clears throat> you know, an update for making an NPC move. What what's really the point? Like as long as the damn thing works, who cares? Honestly, I don't know. It's just it kind of seems pointless. I mean, I guess you know if you're trying to if it's saying like the hunter NPC, um, the hunter NPC that's actually like at the hunter teleport, I can understand that because you um, you could easily set up a bot and just bot hunter, you know, whatever. So yeah, you know, I just mainly definitely wanted to look at the uh, the updates for the server and stuff, kind of see what was new and. Want to see if any new skills are out? Doesn't seem like it. Grand Exchange is out, but it kind of still just seems pointless and like no one's using it. Uh, and people that are using it, they're buying things for like bare minimum. And it's just kind of useless right now, honestly. I mean, I know there's not a whole lot of players on the server and whatnot, but I mean, I guess, you know, like the day that the Grand Exchange came out, people were probably using the Grand Exchange like crazy, but it just kind of seems like, yeah, you know, I mean, right there, for instance, you know, bank sale at home. Like, really? Like, <laughs> just, it's useless. I mean, like, I don't know for the fact of, like, playing, pl playing, you know, a different server, having a Grand Exchange, and people actually using it, you would just kind of think that people would actually use it, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe on PK Honor, maybe whenever the Grand Exchange first came out. If I'm assuming it didn't come out whenever the server came out, so uh, if it did come out, you know, later on after the server was you know already around for a bit, um, you know, I don't know if it was the same way if like no one used it, but kind of hope that. Um, I kind of really do hope for people to uh, to start actually using the Grand Exchange, so it's not just useless content just sitting there. Cause I know Relax was like spending loads of time to test it and whatnot. So um, I think like it was like in testing for probably like three weeks, maybe a month. I know I know he was testing it for a while. Um, also, another thing that I didn't see any updates. 
I'm not sure why it wasn't actually in the updates, but unless maybe I just skipped past the the post, but there wasn't anything talking about the high scores being updated, but the high scores is updated. I went and looked at it because when I last was on, I was told that weekend when I asked that it was supposed to be fixed. So I thought that was that was pretty nice to know that. Doesn't really seem like it's fully fixed still. Iron Man still isn't on there, which is kind of sad, but oh well. And it also seems to be you can't search for your name. Um, you can't click on people's names. Um, what else was wrong with high scores? Uh, I mean, it's fixed. I mean, like whenever I go to like, for instance, you know, when I, when I go to fishing, you know, it shows I have my experience. Uh, which I also honestly don't know if I really have shown my skills. I don't really think I have. And we got the 50 mil fishing, 40 mil herb, which if you see here, I actually have the potions to get 50 mil. I think, I think that's, I think 100 potions is 50 mil. But obviously I was going to do it on, oh, well actually... Yeah, it is the weekend. <laughs> Wasn't realizing it was actually the weekend, so I guess I could actually do that and get 50 mil herb XP. I got 50 mil ranging. Um, I'm at 37 mil prayer, and I think yeah, I used all my bones pretty much. The only bones I have left is some big bones. So, yep. And let's see what else. Uh, I know I did a little bit of wood cutting, not much though. And yeah, I think that's really it. I, I know I did a little bit of thieving and uh, high alking while thieving. I know that's gonna be pretty slow though, but um, yeah, I mean mining's going pretty decent actually. Speaking of mining, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, I don't know, like, yeah, this is a pretty chill game and stuff, but, uh, I don't know, honestly, like, the, the one problem with me is I just kind of get bored of playing one game. So I think if I start actually kind of more or less um, spending time on two different games, you know, it would spread my time to where I'm not playing one game as much. And, you know, I mean, it, it would help a little bit for not just sitting there and grinding out one game because I'll just get bored of it and it'll just make me quit and you know I won't come back to it or I come back to it after like a week or two or whatever and yeah so I think that's kinda what I'm gonna be doing um, I mean mainly on the fact that you know trying to get a job at the moment and stuff uh, with trying to do that and everything and you know trying to play a game it's not the easiest and once having a job and everything you know playing games will be you know, very much a more of relaxing, so it'd be kind of like, you know, whatever I would prefer to play at the time, so, yeah, so you'll be seeing probably videos of, you know, me playing Minecraft, um, not really sure what I'll be playing, but probably playing something that you'll see, I do have a tutorial of exactly how to do it and stuff the recent video that I posted before this one so yeah I think that's gonna do it for this one um, uh, if if you do want to see something uh, do tell me you know leave a comment message me whatever it may be um, if I'm online you can go ahead and PM me in game that is completely fine with me uh, but yeah I will uh, see you in the next one. Peace.